In this video, you will learn how to replace a fan tray or fabric card in the Cisco NCS 5500 chassis while the router is operational. Ensure that these tools and equipment are ready. Follow these safety instructions before you begin. Click on one of the operations to continue. To prevent loss of packets during operations, shut down the fabric card. Run the command hw-module location location name shutdown. Run this command in admin mode. Verify that the fabric LED for the slot is turned off. Also, verify that the card is in the powered off state. At a time, Remove only one fan tray during router operations. Please note, if you cannot replace a fan tray within three minutes, we recommend that you leave it in the chassis until you are ready to replace it. Remove the fan tray that covers the fabric card from the chassis. Unscrew the four captive screws from the front of the fan tray in an anti-clockwise direction. With both hands, hold the two fan tray handles on the front of the fan tray. Pull the fan tray to slide it out of the chassis. Set the fan tray on an anti-static surface. Click one of the options to continue. Warning! Hazardous voltage or energy is present on the backplane when the system is operating. Use caution when servicing. Remove the fabric card. Unscrew the screw on the center of each of the two handles on the fabric card in an anti-clockwise direction. Rotate both ejector handles away from the front of the fabric card. With one of the two handles in each hand, pull the module a couple of inches, about five centimeters, out of the slot. Rotate both handles back to the front of the module until they click in place. Fasten each handle to the module using the captive screw on the back of the handle. Place one hand under the fabric card to support its weight. Place your other hand at the front of the module and slide the module out of the slot. Rotate the module 90 degrees and lay it flat on an anti-static surface. To install or replace a fabric card, Place one hand on the front of the module and turn the module 90 degrees so that the electrical connectors are on the bottom. Align the rails on the top of the module to the track on the top of the open slot. Align the bottom of the module so that it slides into the tracks on the bottom of the open slot. Unscrew the screws on each ejector handle and rotate the ejector handles away from the chassis. Ensure that the locking posts on the top and bottom of the chassis rotate into the module so that the module can slide fully into the slot. Slide the module all the way into the slot. Rotate both ejector levers to the front of the chassis and ensure that the module is locked to the top and bottom of the slot. Screw in the captive screw on each of the two levers in a clockwise direction so that each lever is locked in place on the module. To install or replace the fan tray, use both hands to hold the two handles on the front of the fan tray that you are installing. Align the tracks on the top of the fan tray with the rails at the top of the open fan tray slot in the chassis. Slide the fan tray into the slot until the front of the fan tray touches the chassis. Screw in the four captive screws in a clockwise direction to secure the fan tray to the chassis. Verify that the status LEDs turn on and become green. For more information, refer to the Hardware Installation Guide for Cisco NCS 5500 series routers.